Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bill Chen. I'm Nima Kung. I'm Ben Chen. In this class, I'll read to all of you. Shabba. 20. Insect of Jane Eyre, an autobiography. S. L. Jane Eyre, an autobiography. Shilla Brunt. Derp. 27 Sec 2. Warning. I should receive you in an embrace. It would be restrictive. Did from her. Nurse but me. And I could hang over you with untrue tenderness. You gave me no smile in return. Eyes. I follow that train of ideas. I was talking of removing you from Thornfield. Well. You know. Is prepared for prompt departure. Go. I only ask you to endure one more night under this roof. Jane. And then. Throw all to its miseries and terrors forever. Have a place to repair to. Our is. And take it with you. Sir, I interrupted. Then, Jane, I told you I would send it to school. What do I want with a child for a companion? Show your French this bastard. Why do you impertain me about her? I say. You spoke of a retirement. There. A retirement and solitude are dull. Solitude. Solitude. He reiterated with irritation. An explanation. I don't know what sphinx like expression is forming in your countenance. You are to share my solitude. I shift my head. Degree of courage. Excited as he was becoming. Sign of descent. He had been walking fast about the room. Stopped. As if suddenly rooted to one spot. And hard. I turned my eyes from him. Fixed them on the fire. And tried to assume and maintain a quiet. Collected aspect. Hitchin Jane's character he said at last. Booker had expected him to speak. In a so far. Puzzle. Here it is. Now for vexation. And exasperation. Trouble. By God. I long to exert a fraction of Samson's strength. He recommends his walk. But soon again stopped. They. Jane. Uh, because. If you want. I'll try violence. His voice was hoarse. One and plunge headlong into wild license. I saw that in another moment. And with one impetus of frenzy more. With him. Control and restrain him. A movement of repulsion. Light. Sealed my Jim Kentis. But I was not afraid. Not in the least. I felt an inward power. A sense of influence. Which supported me. The crisis was perilous. But not without its charm. It did. Perhaps. Just when he slips over the rapid in his canoe. I took hold of his clenched hand. Loosened the contorted fingers. To him. Soothingly. 
sit down. Right. And hear all you have to say. He sat down. He did not get leave to speak directly. For some time. I had taken great pains to repress them. Yugi would not like to see me weep. Anne. However, considered it well to let them flow as freely and as long as they liked. If the flood annoyed him, so much the better. We and cried heartily. Soon I heard him earnestly entreating me to be composed. I said I could not while he was in such a passion. Not angry. Jane. I only love you too well. Steeled your little pale face with such a resolute. Frozen look. Not in durate. Arr. Anne. Subdued. So I. In my turn. Became calm. An effort to rest his head on my shoulder. Uh, then he would draw me to him. Oh. Jane. Belle. At. You don't want me. Then. It was only my station. And the rank of my wife. That you valued. Me disqualified to become your husband. These words got me. I do I say. Are probably to have done or said nothing. Feelings. I could not control the wish to drop one where I had wounded. I do love you, I said. More than ever. Sure indulge the feeling. The last time. Jane. What? You think you can love with me? See me, Dilly. And yet, if you still love me, there, I could not. And therefore, I see there is but one way. Oh, uh, mention it. If I storm, we'll sit. Rochester. For how long? Jane? For a few minutes. Dishevelled. I must leave at Lentorn Field. My whole life. Of course. I told you you should. Over the madness about parting from me. Of me. As to the new existence. It is all right. Shall yet be my wife. I am not married. You shall be my ace. We're just of us richly and nominally. You and I live. South of France, a whitewashed villa on the shores of the Mediterranean. You shall be happy and guarded and most innocent. Life. For that I wish to lure you into route of making my mistress. Did you shake your head? Jane, you must be reasonable. And hand covered, his large nostrils dilated, his eye blazed. Dare to speak. Sir, your wife is living this morning. By yourself. If I lived with you as you desire, should then. Be your mistress, Jane, that I am not long enduring. I am not cool and dispassionate. Of pity to me and yourself. Put your finger on my pulse, how it throbs he burned. His wrist, and offered it to me, the blood was forsaking his. Cheek and lips, they were growing livid, was distressed on all hands. To agitate in the steeply he saw poured was cruel. Tears out of the question. It to one higher than. Man, my lips. I am a fool, cried Mr. Rochester suddenly. I am not married, and do not explain to her why. 
forget she knows nothing of the character of that woman attending my inferno. Opinion with her. Oh, with me an opinion, when she. Those all that I know. Your hand in mine has sight. Oh. You the real state of the case. Yes, sir, only. And it. She ain't the just son of my house, I remember. My say that my father was an avaricious well, Jane. So it was his resolution to keep the property together. Idea of dividing his estate and leaving me a fair portion of. Resolved, should go to my brother Roland. Endure that. Uh, son of it should be a poor man. Provided for by a wealthy marriage. He sought me a partner biddems. With Sue. Mason. A West India planter and merchant was his old acquaintance. He was. Soon his positions were real and vast, he made inquiries. Waste it. Mason, he found, had a son and daughter of pounds. That sufficed. When I left college, Jamaica to. His boss, a bride, already quoted for me. About her money, turned for her. Beauty, and this was no lie. Fine woman in the. Style of blanching grum, tall, dark, majestic. Her. Family wished to secure me because I was a good race. And so. Did she. They showed her to me in parties, dressed. I seldom saw her alone, her. She flattered me accomplishments. All the men in her circle seemed to admire her or envy me. I was dazzled, stimulated, my senses were excited, and. Being ignorant, or an inexperience, I thought I loved her. Folly so besotted that the idiotic rivalries of society, the brains, the rashness, the blindness of youth will not hurry a man to its commission. Her relatives encouraged me, competitors piqued me. She heard me, was achieved almost before I knew where I was. Oh, respect for myself when I think of that act, an agony of inward contempt. Master me. I never loved, I never esteemed, I did not even know her. I was not sure of the existence of the one virtue. In her nature I had marked neither modesty nor benevolence. Nor can door her mind mentioned I married her grass groveling. Was speaking. My bride's mother I had never seen I, I understood she was dead. The honeymoon over her, I learned my mistake. She was only mad up in a lunatic asylum. They was the younger brother at immediate, the elder one hate. Whilst I abhor all his kindred, affection in his feeble mind, wretched. Sister, and also in a dog like attachment, he once bore me, probably. Be in the same state one day. Knew all this, but they. Bought only of the thirty thousand pounds, joined in the plot against me. These were our discoveries, treachery of concealment, why, even when I. Found her nature wholly alien to mine, obnoxious to me her caste. Of mine common, low, low, narrow, singularly incapable of being led. To anything higher, that I could not pass a single evening the day. With her in comfort, as because whatever topic I started once. Coarse and trite, a quiet or settled household, her violent and unreasonable temper. What of vexations of her absurd, contradictory, exacting, or to seven then? I restrained myself, I stood up raging, I tell remonstrance, I tried to devour my repentance and disgust in secret, antipathy I felt. Jane. I will not trouble you with abominable details, strong words shall express. What I have to say. Upstairs four years, and before that time. She had tried me indeed, character ripened and developed with frightful rapidity. Her vices sprang up fast and rank. They were so strong only. Cruelty could check them, not equality. What a pygmy intellect she had, and what giant propensities. How fearful were the curses of these propensities. Entailed on me, Bertha Mason, the true daughter of an infamous mother. To be continued.